Hello guys, welcome back to Good Travel Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Diablo 4 has been set out with the beta and the game is going to released in a couple of months so we are having the beta and many users are trying to play the game on the battlefield but many users are having a lot of trouble including crashing at startup, not launching, freezing and stuttering, won't launch, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and many more issues and how we can fix this app. So we're going to talk about this and the first one is all about when you're trying to play the game just start with a restart and that is what you have to do. For that we just have to go over here in the search, you go to the search, just click on this icon, go for a restart. So restart is just a small try which you have to try from your side because sometimes a restart can fix a lot of issue. So just start with a restart and after trying with the restart if it's still not working we have to move to next one. That is all about we need to verify and integrity of game file. So hence we are in this uh, battle dot field. This is not the same how we do it in the Steam. So for that we just need to go over here and click on this option. Go for scan and repair. So when you click on scan and repair, what happens is what we do exactly when it comes to Steam verify integrity of game file. The game will be checking from there, and if any files are missing and if any files are corrupted, and all these kind of things will be checked by this particular step called scan and repair. And you just have to click on this one. So this is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around uh, you know 50 above GB so that's going to take a lot of time so just wait for this one so uh, once you're done with the scan and repair you just have to try to play the game after that and most probably by this particular step that's called scan and repair can fix the issue and I hope this uh, that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we have to launch the game in the installation folder for that we need to instead of launching the game from play button from the battle dot field you need to launch the game from the installation folder so we have two way one, we can easily navigate to the installation folder from the battle.net here itself. When you click on show in Explorer, it will be taken to this. As you can see, this PC, local disk C, program file x86, and you are able to find the Diablo 4 beta. It can be done from here itself. Now, the next way is we can go to the file explorer over here like this. We can go to local disk C. Now, keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Now from here you will be able to find Diablo 4 beta and you can open this. Now from here you can see the uh, application over here, you can launch the game from here. So you should be knowing both the methods because uh, down the road in many steps you need to know how to navigate to the installation folder, not uh, depending on the battle dot field. So this is how you can open the game from here that is going to work for you as well. Next step is all about launch the game and run it as an administrator. So hence we are in the installation folder. I'm going to show you that from here itself. So just click on the application over here, right click and go to show more options, go to properties. Now go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well. For many users, this did work it and you can try this out. So that is an important step you should try out because running the game as an administrator did work it for many users as well. There is a more additional bonus step which I would like to add. This did work it for some, but for some users, this end up in a lot of issues. So you can try this out. So that is just right click over here. Go to show more options and go to properties. Now go to compatibility. Over here you will be able to find the compatibility mode. So run this game in the compatibility mode and change this to Windows 7. Go for apply and go for OK. So for this, some people after this, the game helped them and they are get rid of themselves for the crashing and all those issues. But some users, what they happened is when they tried this out it ended up in a lot of issue for them so if that is the case we need to if the issue is more getting severe and severe you need to uncheck this for that just do like this just right click go to show more option go to properties go to compatibility once again and uncheck this run this program as an administrator or in compatibility mode and go for apply and go for ok and try to play the game and this did work it for many users as well next one is all about we need to make sure that uh, the language we are using in the pc or laptop should be english for that we have to go over here go to settings now from here go to time and language from here select the language so if you have if you're trying to use the windows with any other native language like chinese japanese arabic or any other thing you should be changing that to english as soon as possible for that just follow the instructions and click on add language and you can add the uh, language from here you can just search for english and you'll be able to find the english and just add it and also keep in mind when you do this sub make sure uh, the time date and language and region are correct for that just click on the date and time over here make sure the set time zone automatically should be turned on 
as well as said time zone automatically should be should be turned on as well time and zone should be turned on and also make sure if you go back the region which you are operating the pc that might like in the sense i'm from india so i have to select india so if you're from germany and you select america that's not going to work for you so just change the language over here in the background so change uh, the country as well so change this to your respective geographic country and once it is done just to try to play the game that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file if it's already there for that we just need to go over here in the file explorer and go to documents now from here we have to find whether you are able to find diablo 4 because when you save any games it will be definitely there so if you find any folder just delete it as you can see dead space 2023 ww2k23 these games are i'm uh, playing this all the time so i'm saving this up as well so that is why so for, for here if it's not able to see anything so just uh, delete the folder over here from the Diablo 4 and once after that just try to play the game that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about try to launch the game with pressing Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button at the same time you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard that is going to work for you. This did work for many users as I checked in the forums as well as even in the Reddit many users did mention this. So you just have to press Alt and Tab on the keyboard altogether by clicking on the play button that is going to work for you. And you can try this out next one is all about you have to allow the game to windows security for that we have to go over here in the search go to control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app over feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to check whether diablo 4 is already added so over here if the diablo 4 is not added you can add it manually as you can see it is not added so we need to add it manually so that's come the question how to add it manually for that we just have to click on allow another app go for browse now from here go to this PC, open local disk C, now scroll down and navigate to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Diablo 4 beta, now from here go to the application over here just open it and go for add it. So over here as you can see Diablo 4 is being added and make sure the private and public should be checked, so you have to mark on this one and make sure both the private and public should be checked as well. Once it is checked you have to go over here and you have to try to play the game that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about if you're trying to play with any controllers, like if it's already connected, you just have to unplug everything from the USB devices. So maybe the controllers are connected, maybe the Logitech wheels are connected, maybe uh, multiple monitors you might be using now. So just remove everything, unwanted things and almost remove everything from the USB devices. Launch the game. After launching the game, just connect it back and try to play the game. This did work it for many users and many users shared this more than 6 to uh, 20 users shared this particular step on the reddit for this this did work out for them so you can try this out i don't know how but this did work out for them you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we have to go over here in the search and we need to go for system configuration now go to service and there is an option called disable all go for disable all once after that they might be asking you for a restart if they're asking you for a restart just go for a restart then try to play the game that is going to work for you as well this did work out for many users as well next one is all about we need to update the graphics card manually for that i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd users the nvidia users they just have to click the link in the description that will take you to this to select the respective models select everything from here select even the windows 11 and all those things appropriating system according to me now once after being set into everything go for start set that will take you to this from here you'll be getting all details like you know the version 531.29 which is release a date on 14th march 2023 so you just have to download this one and install it simultaneously if you're on the amd you have to go to the graphics with respective models and all details from here now go for submit and from here you have to get in the options for windows 11 windows 10 windows uh, 7 as well if you're on windows 11 download this adrenaline version if you're on windows 10 you have to download this adrenaline version if you're on windows 7 you have to download this adrenaline version and after this try to reinstall i mean you have to restart the pc and try to play the game that did work out for many users and you can try this out next one is all about you have to install microsoft visual c plus plus so I'll be providing a link in the description. When you click on this, you'll be landing on this page over here, as you can see. Now we are having the option to download X64, X86, and even ARM64. So you have to download any one of these. So if you don't know how to check or what is system type of your PC or laptop, just go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, go to system at the top, keep scrolling down and navigate to above. From here, you'll be able to find 64-bit operating system is my system type. So you just have to close this and I have to go back over here and I have to download and install this. 
this is what you have to do so once after that restart your pc and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well this is an important step and you should not be neglecting any time so next one is all about we need to make sure that you should be running the game on the dedicated graphics card for that we just have to go over here in the search now go for graphics settings now from here what you need to do is you just need to scroll down as you can see i have already added all the games in the same way you need to add the game for that just click on the browse now from here go to this pc that is why i said we should be knowing how to navigate to the installation folder without the shortcut from the battle.net so just open local disk c now scroll down navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to diablo 4 beta now open this i mean add this go for add so it is added so once it is added it is not enough just make need to make a few changes that click on the option from let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save so running the game in the high performance will fix the crashing issue not launching issue freezing and stuttering all the issues so change this to this and once after that just close this and try to play the game next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory for that we just need to go over here go for or search for view advanced system settings now from here go to advanced click on settings go to advanced once again go for change option there is an option to custom size to so select this one make sure under the virtual memory you keep this unchecked or else you'll be not able to select the local disk so select the local disk where the game is installed and once after that we have to give the value for initial size as well as for the maximum size so this depends on the ram of a computer and we need to check it if you don't know how to check the ram of a computer just go over here in the search go to settings over here go to system at the top keep scrolling down and navigate to about over here now from here as you can see the ram is 32 gb so this is my ram so you have to check the same way for your pc or laptop once you find the ram you just have to go back we need a calculator to do the calculations for that we need to go to the calculator first we need to type the ram of your computer and you have to multiply with a constant value that is 1024 just multiply your ram with 1024 then once after that you will be getting a value just multiply this with 1.5 times that is 49152 that is initial size maximum size is three times the total ram so i have to do it once again 32 gb into 1024 now I have to multiply it into 3, that is 90,304, so I just have to copy this and I have to paste it as well. Once the value is being set into this, you just have to close everything, go for restart your PC and try to play the game that is going to work for yourself. Last and the least one is all about, we need to update the windows, so make sure it is up to date for that, just go over here. Go to settings over here, go to system, sorry, go to windows update at the bottom and make sure if you're having any kind of cumulative updates or KB update, just update it. And once after that, just try to play the game that is going to work for you as well. Even the last one step which you have to try out, even after trying all these things, you just have to go over here, uninstall and reinstall the game that is going to work for you. For that, just click on this one, go for uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. But when you reinstall back, keep in mind, you should not be installing back on the same local disk which you already did. You just have to change the location of the local disk. I mean, the game should be changed to any other local disk. So do the same. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Diablo 4 beta is having crushing issue and all these kind of issues and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye